All right, good morning, everybody. Welcome to our uh, edition of our Aquariums Online Academy here. My name is Talia. I'm from our education department. Sorry for our little bit of our late start. We were having some technical difficulties on our side of things, but we are here. I hope you're here. And we are ready to get to some drawing today. So today, my friends, I thought it would be fun to draw one of our very furry friends we have here at the aquarium. We're going to be trying to draw some otters today. Um, and a little bit of their home as well, which is our kelp portion. I'm going to try to fix my mic so it stops falling off my ear. Oh my goodness, friends. Okay, so while we are chatting about our otters, drawing about our otters, um, or drawing our otters, I should say, uh, you are welcome to ask questions. If you have something you're curious about, uh, something that uh, you are wondering about, you are welcome to text in those questions. And we'll get a number up on our screen uh, in just a moment here. And that's the number you can use to ask any questions questions. So if you'd like um, to ask some questions, text this number below on your screen right right down there, 562-286-1838. Um, or uh, you can, if you're watching this a little bit later, after we've aired live at 9 o'clock on Monday morning, uh, you are welcome to email us instead. And that email address is live at lbaop.org. So those are two ways to communicate with us depending on when you're watching. Um, so my friends, let's chat a little bit uh, about otters. I figured we'd get some otter inspiration before we get into our otter drawing. So uh, I'm going to have my friend uh, Miss Saraya uh, put up a picture uh, of some otters just to check them out a little bit more to get some inspiration uh, for our drawing. Oh, oh my gosh, it's so cute. He's grabbing his cheeks just like that. Oh my goodness, I love this picture. It's adorable. Um, so my friends, this is an otter. Um, this is a fun marine mammal. That's a mammal that lives in the ocean that lives uh, pretty close uh, to us. They live a little bit more, at least in California here, they live a little, little bit more north of us. But it's a fun local um, mammal that we have uh, off our California coast here, a little bit towards the northern part of California. Um, now, I noticed a couple things about my otter friend. Uh, I noticed, first off, that it is very, very fuzzy. It is very, very fuzzy. And that is one of the things that make mammals mammals, is that they have hair or fur. So a lot of things that we have that make us mammals, our otter friends have as well. They are very, very fuzzy. They can have up to a million hairs in a square inch. Can you believe that? If you made a little circle with your hand and you put it on an otter, you could fit a million hairs just in that tiny little space on the otter. So they have really, really thick fur to help them keep nice and toasty warm. Ooh, here's another beautiful picture of our otter. This one is very dry, so it's definitely um, a lot easier to see how fuzzy and fluffy they can be. So they have a lot of hair uh, to help keep them warm. They don't have blubber uh, like their cousins uh, their other marine mammal friends, like the seals and the sea lions and the whales, they don't have blubber to keep them warm, so they're relying. Uh, here's a picture of one of our harbor seals. They're relying uh, on that nice thick fur coat to help them keep warm. Um, they're also, while they're grooming their fur, they're going and they're blowing air into their fur, and that kind of acts like an extra layer of insulation in between the fur and the skin to help them keep nice and toasty warm. Now, the other thing that I like to talk about with otters is that they um, like to use tools to help them eat. They are good at finding things to kind of grab up with their paws. Um, and they uh, will grab things uh, like a crab, like this friend is munching on a crab, um, or things in hard shells. And they have to figure out, how am I going to get this open to get all the yummy meat inside? So just like us, we don't really want to eat the shell when we're eating a big a big whole crab. You want to get the, all the delicious meat inside. So they uh, will use things like a rock to help crack open that um, crab or clam or something that's in a hard shell to eat all the yummy meat inside. Now, to get all this up to the surface, they uh, will not only use their tools to help them break it up, they will use pockets. Did you know that otters have pockets? <gasps> now, they don't have pockets like on our jackets or on our pants. They have pockets in their armpits, which is which is kind of gross, but kind of awesome. Um, they have some loose skin there. If you've ever tried to put seashells in your shirt at the beach and like carry them that way, that's kind of what they're doing with their body. They'll put their snacks in there. They'll put their favorite rock in there, go back up to the top, float on their back, and then 
uh, kind of use their tummy as a dining room table. So they're definitely doing a lot of eating and snacking as they go throughout their day. Um, one of their favorite foods is an urchin, um, which is an animal that looks kind of like a big purple spiky ball, just like this. Um, they love to eat urchins. They, again, will use those rocks and hard shells to break them open. Um, and uh, sometimes the otters that really love to eat urchins, um, their teeth will turn purple. Or sometimes even if, you, if you've seen, um, something that even gets into their bones, sometimes their skull starts turning purple too. So you can start to tell which otters love to eat ur urchins by uh, looking at their teeth. So if you've ever had a popsicle or lollipop, uh, and you've been like working on that all day and you come home and your lips are blue and your teeth are blue and your mom's like, mm, I know what you had for a snack. That kind of is what happens with our otters that love urchins. So my friends, uh, let us get to some drawing. Uh, and again, if you have any questions during our chatting and drawing today, again, please feel free to text those questions in. All right, my friends, I'm going to go over to my Explore Cam and we're going to start drawing an otter to together. I'm going to try to take one more moment to get my mic to behave itself. All right, apologies, my mic is not liking my ear this morning. Okay, let's try that. All right, so my friends, how are we going to draw otter? I'm using a whiteboard today, so this is still me. Hello. Uh, I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see a little bit more of the whole board. All right. And I'm going to try to keep, I'm using whiteboard and whiteboard markers today, but you can use whatever you have at home. If you like to work in pencil, colored pencils, crayons, markers, pens, whatever you would like to use at home, please feel free to use it. It is your masterpiece. All right, my friends, I'm going to try to keep my otter kind of in the middle of my picture because I want to draw some decorations around it. So, all right, so how I'm going to draw my otter, my friends, is I'm going to start with drawing the head of the otter. And I'm going to draw a circle for my head. And otters are not perfect circles, so yours does not have to be a perfect circle either. All right, so I'm going to draw a circle for my otter's head. And then I'm going to draw some ears on the top here. I'm going to kind of draw a little, little kind of U's or half circles here. Draw one ear. Draw two ears. And then I'm going to draw otter's face. So I'm going to draw some eyes. Let's see. And I'm going to just draw a little use for eyes. If you want to make eyes with uh, pupils in them, you are welcome to do so. I'm going to draw a nose, which is kind of going to be like an upside down triangle I might kind of round these edges a little bit I got a mouth oh I need to draw a mouth and for a mouth I'm going to draw kind of like two two J shapes so I'm going to draw kind of a J and then a backwards J for the other side and then my friends we need some whiskers I'm going to draw three whiskers on this side, and I'm going to draw three whiskers on that side. They have really stiff whiskers. If you've ever, ha if you have a cat at home, it's kind of very similar to that they're really stiff, help them kind of feel around uh, their environment. All right, my friends. So I have an otter head. I need to draw an otter body next. So I'm going to draw the body here. And my body is basically going to be a very big kind of U shape. So I'm going to draw kind of a big U. And 
And then I'm going to add the arms. And they're kind of feet. Their feet. Otters are really interesting. They're kind of land in the front. They kind of have more like paws in the front. And then their back. Uh, their back limbs kind of look a little bit more like a flipper. So I'm going to have my otter basically look like it's floating on its back. So I'm going to draw kind of the rest of the limbs sort of on the inside of this U. So I'm going to draw some arms. I'll draw kind of another little U shape for an arm. And another little U shape for an arm. And you might notice I've left some space in the middle there because I'm going to draw it a snack to eat as well. Okay, let's draw the feet next. And for that, I'm kind of going to look a little bit like a rounded upside down teardrop. So I'm going to kind of draw almost like a circle or a half circle. And I'm going to kind of bring it in. And then instead of making a point like a teardrop, I'm just going to make a little rounded shape here and then connect it. And then same on the other side. So I kind of start drawing a half circle, bring it in like I was making a teardrop. But instead of making a point, I'm going to make it sort of round at the other side. Let me zoom in a little bit, my friend, so you can see this bit better. All right. I'm going to draw some lines here for their flippers just so we can tell them apart from the arms. And I think I want to draw a little tail as well. So I'm going to draw a little, little point here for the tail. There we go. All right, my friends. So we have drawn our otter. And if you want to decorate this uh, a little bit more, you are welcome to do so. If you want to draw us kind of some, some wiggly lines here to make them look a little bit more fuzzy, um, you are welcome to do that. Um, I think what I'm going to do next is I'm going to figure out what I want to draw for their snack. Um, and then I'm going to draw some kelp around them since that is one of the otter's favorite places to be is the kelp forest. I figured we could draw some kelp around them uh, to kind of add some decoration to our otter drawing. All right, my friends, I need to figure out what I want to have my otter snack be. It could be a sea star. It could be an urchin. I think I might draw it a little sea star for a snack. And you can draw stars a lot of different ways. I'll kind of draw a couple to the side here. You can either draw it just by making like a lot of triangles like that. If you want to draw it how I learned how to draw in school, you can kind of just start making lines. So you kind of go a line and then you go back and there and then you make kind of a triangle there. And you can fill it in. That's another way to make a triangle. If you want your otter to have an urchin snack, I like to start making kind of a lot of lines in a half circle, kind of an arc. So I'll kind of just start making a bunch of lines and then sort of curve those lines around and make an urchin. If you would like to make an urchin for your otter to have as a snack. But again, it is your otter. If it eats something completely different, if it eats uh, something in a shell like a clam. It could eat a clam. If yours is a very special otter that eats pizza, it could eat pizza too. Um, all right, so I'm going to kind of erase my snacks here and draw my otter snack. Let's see. Go with having a star for a snack. And again, my friends, if you have any questions, uh, you are welcome to text those questions in. We'll kind of get that number back up on the screen there. I believe it is 562-286-1838. You're welcome to text any questions in if you're curious about anything. 
All right, so I've given my otter a little sea star snack to eat. Try to not get marker all over me. And then I think my friends for decorations, I'm gonna start drawing some kelp kind of around my otter just so it has kind of a place to be um, in the ocean. So a lot of their food is definitely found in kelp forests. Urchins actually love to eat the bottom of the kelp. And then they'll even use it when they're babies. When mama has to go get food, uh, they'll wrap baby otter up in kelp like a seatbelt so that they can go get some snacks. And then they'll come back and a uh, baby will kind of be where they, where they were before. All right, so how I like to draw kelp, my friends, is I'll kind of draw sort of a squiggly line. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see it better. Yeah. Let's see if I, have, I might use a darker green if this doesn't show very well. Um, all right, so I've drawn a squiggly line. And I'm going to start drawing a little circle. And then I'm going to draw the blade of the kelp. That's the part that kind of looks like a leaf. And I like to draw kind of these S. They almost look like S's that sort of connect. So I can I'll draw another little circle and another leaf or blade. Draw another circle. Another little blade. Just kind of keep doing that all the way down. I haven't drawn the bottom of kelp because I imagine this otter sort of floating on the surface. And kelp actually grows taller than the water is high. It actually kind of flops over and keeps growing horizontally. And then I'm going to color in all these blades that I made. Okay, so I'm going to draw, I think, a couple more kelp, maybe one or two more on this side. I'll draw some more squiggles. I'll draw, I think, a short one over here. And then same as before, I'm going to draw some circles. Uh, attach. Um, blades of kelp to them. I realize some of my blades of kelp also look like mustaches, but that's okay. <laughs> Hope you guys are having a good time drawing some otters with me. I wonder what your otter is eating for a snack today. Now, there's lots of choices. Otters like to specialize. They figure out I am the really, I am really, really good at catching urchins, or I'm really, really good at catching sea stars. Now you might think, wait a minute, I've seen the sea star at a beach or maybe at an aquarium and they have a lot of sticky stuff on the inside on the underside they have lots of sticky arms there so how can the otter 
eat the star and not get sticky stuff all over its hands. They are smart cookies, so not only do they use tools, they kind of think about how they want to eat their food too. So the otters are smart and they will either make sea star PB and J sandwiches and they will take a star and another star and put them together. All the sticky stuff is in the middle now. And they go, I'm, 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 I'm going to eat my star. Uh, or they make sea star tacos. And they take a star and they fold it in half. Again, all the sticky stuff is on the inside. So yeah, otters are very smart cookies. Okay, let's see. I'm going to draw one more. Little bit of kelp here. And again, we have a couple more minutes together, my friends. So again, if you're curious about anything, please feel free to text questions in. I am happy to answer any questions if you have anything that you are curious about. About our otters, about the ocean. Happy to answer some questions. One last little bit of kelp. Like a little little leaf there. All right. Gonna zoom out. So here's my picture. We did a pretty good job, my friends. We have our little otter. We have a snack for them to eat. We have some lovely kelp for them to swim through as they're floating on their back. And it, actually, if you want to add um, some kind of wiggles for waves, too, so we know that they're floating on the top. I actually might do that. So I'm going to find a blue. I got some blue here. I just saw the corner of my eye. I might add some little kind of waves here. So we know we are floating on the top of the water. There we go. All right. I like that. So I hope you've had some fun uh, checking out some otters with me. Again, if you have any last questions, we got a couple more minutes together. But we can talk a little bit more about some fun things about otters while we wrap up, my friends. So I hope you guys have had fun making a pretty cool drawing. I'm pretty pleased with my art today. So yeah, I hope you guys had a good fun getting creative uh, this morning. So my friends, let's talk a little bit more about otters. Nest. So we have another minute or two before we have to say goodbye. So we talked a little bit about otters and the fur. They're very fuzzy. Uh, we talked a little bit about what they like to eat, how they eat it. Um, they are also really important in their home uh, with the kelp forest as well. So the ones that eat urchins, they actually keep that population in balance. So it means it's not too high, it's not too low. And that makes sure that we have our kelp forests um, that are nice and healthy because uh, um, urchins love to eat the bottom of kelp. And if all the kelp floats away, it won't provide. This is what it looks like in the ocean. Isn't it pretty all the sunlight coming down? If all the kelp floats away, um, they, uh, all the animals that call the kelp forest their home, they won't have a home to live in anymore. So otters, that love to eat urchins. They help keep that, that amount of urchins. It's not too high, it's not too low, and that keeps our kelp forests nice and healthy. So otters, super important with helping out our kelp forests up and down our coast. Oh my goodness, my friends. Um, another cool thing about otters are their teeth. So um, they have um, teeth that are a little bit more like us in the back. They actually have flat teeth in the back. They have molars. So that means that they chew their food. So really good about if they're crunching down uh, on uh, some lots of different types of food that they like to eat. Uh, it also makes it really interesting to feed them here at the aquarium too because we do have, just like we take vitamins uh, to make sure that our bodies are nice and healthy, our otters take vitamins too. But since they chew their food, we can't just hide it in a fish and say, here you go. Because um, they'll be like, mmm. Something's different in there. So our otters, ooh, there's their teeth. I'm gonna get out of the way so you can see adorable teeth. Um, 
Maybe we'll play that video one more time. Ah, look at their teeth. Oh my goodness. They have their flat teeth uh, in the back there. So instead, uh, our otters um, get a smoothie. They get a smoothie. So we'll grind the vitamins up. We'll mix it in with clam and squid. Would you like a clam smoothie in the morning? I don't know. I don't know if that would be my jam. But yeah, we'll give them a smoothie kind of squirt in their mouth. And that's how our otters get their vitamins, which I think is pretty cute. And a great way to get around those nice flat teeth that they have to help us. All right help us uh, take care of them here at the aquarium. Oh my goodness, my friends, we are out of time. So I want to thank you very much for uh, spending a little bit of your morning with me um, and drawing uh, some otters today. So I hope you had fun getting creative this morning. If you have any more questions, um, you are still welcome to ask them. Uh, we just ask that you email us instead. We're going to get that uh, number and email address up on our screen in just a moment here. Um, and that email address is live at lbaop.org right down there right there below live at lbaop.org now i have one more favor to ask if there are any teachers that are watching if you wouldn't mind texting us uh, the number of students that are watching with you just so we have a little bit of a better gauge uh, on our viewership uh, for these programs that sure would help us out and again teachers you can text those numbers in to that number uh, below me uh, which is 562 286 one eight three eight. So again, thank you guys very much for joining us this morning. We will see you on Wednesday, I believe, for some more uh, Aquarium Online Academy. So again, thank you so much for joining us. Have a great rest of your day. Bye, everybody.